So today, we're gonna to talk about crash helmets. So why a helmet? Why pay so much for a helmet? What design, what should I get? Well today, we're gonna to teach you a few lessons and get you on the right path to wearing a good one. So as a young kid, I was really fortunate to have a dad who got me into, interested in motocross and then from motocross to wearing safety gear, from safety gear to wearing good equipment. And here we have an example of me, 12 years old, wearing my first RI crash helmet. Then from motocross as a kid, I went into road racing and then I really started to understand then the importance of protecting your head because speeds are even greater. Impacts are really, really severe. And another faller was Jamie Robertson off his QUB Aprilia. A terrifying accident befell young Jamie. He went down the road over the top of Lukey Heights and that was a really, really horrible crash that shook us all up but fortunately Jamie only getting away with a broken finger. So when I was lucky enough just last year to go to the Arai factory in Japan I learned so much about a helmet that I really just want to share with you. Now Arai all believe in trying to make sure they protect your head not only as effectively as possible but also there's only so much that you can actually the shell can take after that he needs to be able to glance off, divert the impact. And Arai are the one and only company in the world that believe in the glancing off principle. And that is when you can't absorb the impact fully, the helmet needs to be able to glance off and divert that impact. So what Arai really believe in is a very round shell. And you can really see it here on this open-faced helmet. Very round shell deflects any impact that you may have. They also believe in that same principle across the range. So even their motocross helmets, they have everything that may stick out is able to just break off and the actual shell itself is very round. We have here a motocross helmet, and then the Adventure helmet, the XD4, very similar to the motocross helmet but comes with a visor. Everything that you see is external, moves, and they very much believe in that glancing off principle. They're racing helmets that have air vents. These big air vents are for the racing where the rider's head is getting very hot. Ventilation is paramount. Also at very high speeds, keeping the head stable because racing motorcycles do way over 200 miles per hour these days and you get a lot of head shake. So RI have developed many ways to make sure that the helmet is stable at high speeds and also protects you no matter what the circumstances. And I have to say, after the crashes that I've had in an RI and I've seen other riders having in an RI, and then getting up and walking away. Why would I lie to you when it comes to protecting your head? I believe in protecting your head in the best way possible, putting the best helmet on, and having the ultimate comfort as well, because actually, wearing a helmet shouldn't be painful. If you're wearing a helmet and it is painful, you get like a red mark across the top of your forehead, or you're riding for a certain amount of time at certain speeds and it's uncomfortable, that shouldn't be happening. If that is happening, then the helmet is wrong. Would you wear shoes that are uncomfortable? No, it's a very well-made helmet. It's hands-on from the first second it starts production to the end result. It never sees anything other than skilled personnel working on the helmet, trying to find imperfections in the helmet. Probably about 100 people will touch one helmet. And each person down the line is trying to find an imperfection in the helmet so that when it finally reaches itself onto someone's head, it's as perfect as possible. When I put my helmet on, it's something that I don't worry about. It's part of the mechanism. It's part of putting the key in the ignition. Put the best helmet on that you can possibly put on your head because one day it might have to protect you. And when it does, you want the best helmet you can possibly wear. Don't get a helmet just because you like the design. It's the wrong way. Helmets are for protection. They're for enhancing the ride, not detracting from it. I have some helmets here that you shouldn't buy. Could you imagine that in an impact of a crash? You can buy this. This helmet I picked up and look at this for a label inside. Warning, this helmet is not DOT certified. Do not wear, doing so may result in injury or death. What? 
What is the point in that helmet? None whatsoever. I can't stress enough how much I feel about wearing the best helmet you possibly can. And visiting the Arai factory in Japan was a mind blowing and seeing how much dedication each person put into their job, put into the, each part of the helmet. Products like this are really tried and tested way before it gets to the street by these kind of heroes who go on track risking their lives pushing the limit and making sure this product is always right up there with the best so for me there's only one choice an RI. And if you'd like to learn more about the RI glancing off concept, then check out the Value for RI video over on RI Helmet America's YouTube channel.